Hello, hello, hello. Time yes to roll. Welcome, 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 babies. If you're new here, if you are returning, welcome back. Mm-hmm. I missed you. Come on in, grab your shit, have a seat, get comfortable, do what you do, boo. Okay, I will curse, I will sing. It's going to come out however spirit wants it to come out, but it will be real, okay? That is for sure. So we're going to jump in and see what message the spirit has for you guys today. What do you need to know for your grace and how it's good at this time? Where is the energy after the collective? As you know, well, if, you, if you're new here, then this is Divine Master, Divine Femme, Karmic Energy Ass Channel, okay? Um, they That's who come out, okay? Sometimes it's Divine Master, the Divine Femme. Sometimes it's the karmic. Sometimes it's, you know, all three. See what's going to happen. Name of the Mother, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we do need it to jump. What does my collective need to know right now for their greatest and highest good? Thank you. Okay, so somebody is celebrating. Somebody is going to have a celebration, having a good time right now. Possibly going to a party. Hanging out this weekend, finna be dancing, getting all dressed up, looking good, smelling good. Um, possibly trying to get back out there with this family member saying, You are stronger than you know when I have your back. I do feel like somebody could have been going through something, and their family member is like, Come on, let's go hang out, let's go out, let's go have a good time, help to raise that vibration back up, get back into this good ass energy. If this is you collective and you may have been feeling down lately, you need to get up, get out, celebrate, dance, move around. Yeah, there was an ending to a relationship here. There was an ending to a relationship. Somebody could be happy this relationship is over. And then there is somebody here that may be sad that this relationship is over here. Because their family member is telling them they're stronger than you know when I got your back. Clarify celebration here. Serial stalker. Okay, so somebody could have been out here partying and, and, and celebrating with other people, right? Doing some other things, third-party situations, getting down with other people out here. And somebody found out here, okay? And it, it caused the end to this relationship. Now, whoever got left, the one that was out here partying and, and turning up with everybody and everybody, I feel like drinking this, you know, the nightlife social groupie here, right? They're now stalking and watching on the phone. This could have been somebody younger with these cool lockers back here. Um, somebody could be in college. This could be somebody's child. Stalking and watching. Watching somebody have fun turn up. This person. Mm, whoever ended this connection could have seen something on the phone about their person turning up with somebody else. Okay. Clarify the family member. You're stronger than you know. Yeah, so somebody could have found some type of evidence on the phone here. Um. They could have found some evidence out about a child on the phone, about somebody partying and possibly getting pregnant by somebody else, out having a good time, a one-night stand out in a good time here. Yeah, but there's no communication. So this person that got left because they were out here doing the party, yeah, they can't stop looking at either you or the person that you're dealing with here. Okay, so this could be somebody that was out here partying and shit. They was having a good time and shit. And um, you were stronger than they thought. They possibly thought that you were going to chase them here. They're crying. Somebody's crying. I hear the kids in the background. Somebody's crying. Somebody's upset that this relationship is over. Okay? They are They are upset. You gave this motherfucker the finger and, and got the fuck on him. And you were stronger than they thought. They didn't think you were going to be able to walk away and just turn your back on them. Now they're stalking you. Okay? They're stalking you and watching you. Because there is no communication, no conversation. Okay, y'all, I had to check the ghetto this, the ratchetness going on in the background, the fighting and the argument. Yeah, somebody's arguing and fighting. 
Somebody could be getting real ghetto, real, real, real ratchet right now. I feel like it's this feminine energy here. I feel like there's a, it could be a masculine here, but I, I'm, it's a lot of female and I feel a feminine energy here. There's a feminine energy that, that was out here partying or doing too much and the relationship has ended with them. A masculine walked away from this feminine energy. There's no communication. No, they're not trying to hear or talk to this person and, and this feminine energy cannot stop watching either you or this person that ended the relationship. So if you walked away from somebody here, you ended a relationship with somebody, they're stalking you, they're watching you. Okay? They can't keep their eyes off of you. They see you as the star. They see you as the spotlight here. But you're not giving them any kind of communication. You're not, you're, you possibly have this person blocked. And they didn't think that you were going to block them. They could have been playing games. Somebody could have been playing games. Somebody could have been playing games. You walked away. You were stronger than, than they thought. And you ended this shit. You didn't play that game with these people. You walked away. Yeah. Now this person wants to come back. Maybe it won't work out, but maybe seeing if it does will be the best adventure ever. Yeah. This person sitting back smoking, drinking, trying to escape here. Yeah. You walked away. You said, my body, my rules, my decisions here. Let's see what's going on. We can get a little bit deeper. Oh, what is going on with this connection? What the collective needs to know right now when it comes to this connection. Okay. Can you clarify celebration for a spirit? Straight off the bat. Yeah, somebody was dealing with their past instead of dealing with you in the spiritual connection. If you knew about my dark past, would you still love me? Yeah, they were dealing with somebody from the past that was out here celebrating and, and partying and shit. Instead of dealing with you, who they had the spiritual connection with. See, they party with this person from the past. They good for partying and shit. But they thought they were going to be able to hold on to you too, whoever this is. This is a soulmate, some type of soul connection here. You ended this connection. You walked away. They didn't think you were going to be able to walk away because it was a soul connection. The bond. Huh. And you fooled them. You fooled them. Clarify end of relationship. You fooled this person here. They didn't think you were going to be able to let go. Yep. They could have been dealing with a baby's mother or a baby's daddy. Okay. <laughs> baby mama drama. You could have been dealing with a baby mama. They put an end to this baby mama drama. Or a spiritual connection. The baby mama was out here partying and, and doing all kinds of shit behind this baby daddy's back. If you are a man, feel free to flip it. Okay? Baby daddy drama. But there's an end to this relationship here. So I feel like Divine Master has put an end to this baby mama drama, third party situation, karmic in, in, um, situation here. Because they feel like they have a spiritual connection with you. They didn't think that you were going to ever walk away or cut the connection off and you did. And they have been stalking and watching you. I feel like this baby's mother has been um, watching you too. All eyes on you. Clarify serial stalker. When it comes to this collective read. Clarify serial stalker. Look, there go that celebration again. This is this baby mama. This baby mama was out here partying and shit. While your person was at home being a good daddy. And you can flip it, okay? The baby daddy could have been out at home, um, I mean, out partying while the baby's mother was at home being a good mother as well. But this third party, the baby mama, the baby daddy, whoever this may be, they're now stalking. Stalking your person. In the past, they was too busy hanging out with their friends, partying, drinking, you know, going out. It was all about the girls, all about the fellas and shit. And they were leaving your person at home to watch these kids or watch this kid. Or they was dropping this kid off on them. Or they told them that they were pregnant. And, and this your person could have thought they were, were happy. Maybe it wasn't a baby. You came with drama though. But this 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 ex, baby mama, whoever this is, mama. If you know they don't have no kids, and this is a mama. This is an ex. This is whoever your person was dealing with in the past. 
They're ending that. They're not talking to them. But this person was trying to hold on to them because they seen them as a good partner, a good mother, or a good father. Clarify communication here when it comes to the collective. Yeah. Look, this motherfucker is drowning because there's this is karmic read all day. This baby mama, baby daddy here is upset. They are drowning in their emotions, okay? They're drowning in their emotions because your person is no longer dealing with them. They're not talking to them. This shit is over. Okay? There was not enough give and take in the relationship. And your person walked away. They thought they were going to continue to be the side chick because they were the baby mama or the baby daddy. You can have them through the week. I'll take them over the weekend. But your person said, no, they cut off all contact. They have been trying to get your person to come through, but your person is not fucking with them. Not at all. This relationship is dead. And they are losing their fucking minds. Yeah. All eyes are on you here, Divine Femme. Because you out here staying positive, you working hard, and you making it happen. Spotlight. You're in the spotlight. And this baby mama, baby daddy, got all eyes on you. They're mad. Look, they think you lame. They think you lame as shit. Confirmation, confirmation. Yeah, they're talking shit about you. But you out here making shit happen. Spirit says you're protected from the harm that they're trying to send towards you. So they're out here sending negative energy towards you, giving you the evil eye. Got their they mouth and shit all snarled up and shit. Possibly wanting to draw blood, fight. Okay, whatever the case may be. But they lame as shit. And Spirit says you and your, your divine masculine belong together. And you're protected from anything that they try to throw your way. Yeah, because you guys are going to be a power couple. This is why this divine masculine, I mean, this is why this baby mama or baby father is mad at this divine masculine. For coming into you, Divine Femme, because you guys are finna be a power couple. And this bitch can't stop talking shit about you because this Divine Masculine loves you. <laughs> they talking shit because the Divine Masculine loves you, and you talking shit too. Tell them that bitch, please up your game. I'm laughing all the way to the bank. You ain't even worried about these bitches. You over here focused on your money and shit, Divine Femme. Getting your shit together. You know you protected. You know you protected. You can even be telling yo, yo, divine master, come through, boo. I love you too. Fuck these bitches. Fuck these, 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 uh, sorry ass men and shit. Yeah, this, this third party, the karmic is jealous as shit. Jealous. Yep. And mad. Look, fuck this. You got me fucked up. The karmic is mad as shit. Talking shit, smoking over there, mad. Because your person, this divine master is on their way to you. Ain't no ifs, ands, or buts about that. This is happening very, very soon. Yeah. And and they're mad because they have blocked out this karmic. The karmic is mad as shit. Mad as shit. Yep. Betrayal. Watch your friends around your man, girl. Just saying. Because you was a good girl. So you was a good girl and this other bitch was trifling. Or you was a good guy and this other guy was trifling. Yeah, every part of you touches that soul of your divine masculine. This baby mama mad as shit. They keep pulling me back towards this bitch's face. She angry. She may have freckles, wear lashes and shit. Got a, a nose ring. They wear different color hair and shit. They have blonde hair. Black hair, silver hair, green, purple, blue hair. But yeah, they mad. This is what it's doing. Oh, what is this a collective meeting down here, spirit? Yep. They mad because you over here being divine feminine. And you holding a spot for this divine masculine. And that is killing them even more because they know Divine Masculine coming to you and you know Divine Masculine coming to you. Yep. And whoever Divine Masculine has been talking to, they're telling me, because you know I got your back. You deserve better than this. You deserve better than this trifling ass baby mama, baby daddy. Go towards your, your Divine Femme. They're getting great advice right now, I'm telling you. And this karmic ass is mad. The karmic is mad because the karmic was over here um, getting sp special privileges at work and shit. I tell you, partying with the people at work, partying after work, hanging out with people from work, okay? 
But they want to know that people at work are gossiping about this baby mama, baby daddy here. We know you get special privileges, bitch. Yeah. And she's mad because she feels like she's going to be a single mother. For some of you guys, if there is an actual baby, this could be somebody she worked with, baby, and not your person, baby. That could have been what came out. Or she could have lied about a baby. Or she was trying to trap your person because they see, she's seen your person as a loving dad. Right? And it ain't even his baby. That's somebody she worked with. Yeah, he's coming towards you with the spiritual connection. And y'all spiritual connection is protected, babies. It is protected. Ain't nothing nobody can say or do that can stop or change that. Yep. And your person is talking to a trusted advisor. Come through here. Yep, about all this side chick drama and shit. They're done. They're done with this baby mama, baby daddy. That shit is over. Baby mama, baby daddy is losing their fucking minds. Yep. Baby mama, baby daddy could have been fucking with somebody from the past. The homeboy could be the homeboy baby. She keep coming out. Spending more time with the homie than in the relationship. He just somebody that I used to know. Yeah. And the nosy neighbor told it all. He, she ratchet. She been sneaking this motherfucker in while your person been at work. That's the baby daddy. This bitch just wanted some help. She just wanted some help. This ain't even his baby. This ain't even your person baby. She needed for some grounding and because she, she's dealing with work, life, and all the pressures that come along with it. This bitch is losing her fucking mind. So she lied and said she was pregnant. Fake ass news. Because she just needed some help. She did not want to be a single mama. She did not want to have to raise them kids by herself. She didn't want to have to to, to pay for them. Like I said, this bitch probably was leaving these kids at home with your person while they was going out to party and it ain't even your person's kids. And if one of them is your person's kids, five of them ain't your person's kids. But she, your person got all five kids because they're a good-ass daddy. Or a good-ass mama. For a lot of you guys, this person just lied about being pregnant because they thought that getting this baby or having this baby or telling this person they were pregnant by them would get them not to be a single mama. They were jealous. They didn't want your person to come towards you. Yeah, because they see you as the pity me as strength here, divine fear. Yep. And they see your person, divine masculine, as a loving man. So they lied and said they were pregnant by your divine masculine. But your divine masculine um, is not the daddy to this baby. This is somebody that she worked with or he worked with is the daddy. Okay? Yep. And Spirit says you guys will be happy. Your protect your your connection is protected. So no matter what they're trying to do, yeah, this third party situation got you fucked up. Okay? Now the third party upset because for sure they coming towards you to be happy and there's nothing they can do to stop it. Spirit says, you got this. I've seen you go through so many storms and always come out on top. I'm so proud of you. So keep moving forward, collective. Yeah, Divine Master coming in for forgiveness. They're going to make it right with you. Yep. They're going to tell you about whatever happened in the past, what went down with this baby mama, this baby daddy. Yep. Spirit says, use protection. So I will use protection with this person. Okay, because they were dealing with somebody in a toxic-ass relationship. But I do feel like this connection is protected, babies. Yep. And you keep being that empress boss bitch mode, okay? Or emperor. And they're going to keep spying. But don't worry. This bitch is spying. The baby mama is spying. Because this bitch ain't got no job. She needs some work. She needs to go get a job. So she can take care of her babies. Okay? She's mad because she is codependent upon divine masculine. Not enough give and take in a relationship. That's why divine masculine is cool. And she's mad because you make yourself a priority always. You, you're not codependent upon anybody. You don't have to sleep around with people. Okay? And she's jealous of that. So she lied upon you, lied about you, lied to you, lied on you to this divine masculine. And now this divine masculine has made some decisions. They're coming towards you to be your living boyfriend or girlfriend, to have a family with you, and to ask for your, your forgiveness because you are the epitome of strength. Okay? And they know they cannot change this pill-popping baby mama or pill-popping um, baby daddy. And this motherfucker is over there popping pills and trying to calm down because they know for, for a fact that Divine Master wants to come towards you. 
okay, divine fem, and be closer to you, and they want to get you pregnant. They want to be a loving man to you, or they want to get pregnant by you and have you be the loving man to them, depending on if you're the man or the woman. And there may be space. There may be miles between you guys, okay? But this person wants to, this divine masculine is coming to close that, that gap, whatever that space may have been between you guys, yeah? They coming towards you because you star status. They are letting their past go because they said this bitch is bisexual and fucking around with her. You got to have protection because she fuck any and everything. And they, they dealt with this karmic ass energy. This bitch is a thief, man or woman. They just want money. And your divine master said they just want their peace. And they want to find their peace. They come to be a live-in boyfriend or wife or husband, whatever. It says live-in boyfriend in this particular day. But this is, this is still the marriage card commitment card in this particular day. Okay, they're coming to give divine family commitment. No longer being a swinger. No longer dealing with toxic ass relationships. No longer dealing with people that you can't change. People that's fucking around on the down low, fucking with the homies and shit. Having babies by five, six different motherfuckers. They done. Like I said, this could have been a long distance relationship between you and your divine masculine. But they're coming. They're done with this toxic shit. Toxic shit. Stress the fuck out and over it. Okay, baby, so if this resonated, let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. But know that the karmic relationship is over. And this baby mama, baby daddy is losing their fucking minds. If it's not a baby's mother or a baby's daddy, it could be a mother, a sister, an ex, okay? Their third party, who or whatever it may have been, that shit is done. It was behind money, and they, they're going crazy. Okay, baby, so until next time. You keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Mwah! Love my TT babies.